Is your Ford dealer telling you that your PTU can't be serviced? Well, I'm here telling you that uh, they're lying to you. It can be serviced. The problem is it's very difficult to service the PTUs with the cooler on the side because it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to do it. And that cost has to get transferred over to the customer. And when you have menu item prices for a standard uh, pa power transfer unit or transfer case, it's only a half hour labor. Now you have to charge a customer an hour and a half to two hours labor plus miscellaneous parts to go along with it because the catalytic converter's got to get dropped out of the way. That's when you start just going by Ford's recommendations that say, oh, that's lifetime fluid. You don't have to service it. It's non-serviceable. No. It is serviceable, and you need to do it by every 30,000 miles. And here in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, I've got a 2016 Ford Explorer four-wheel drive sport, 3.5 liter twin turbo. Very, very nice Explorer, in very, very good shape. Customer obviously cares about their vehicle. This thing is super, super, super clean. And this is one of the subscribers here on the channel. Uh, they want the PTU service, so that's what we're going to do. Let's get this vehicle up in there. I just kind of shook down the wheel, check wheel bearing, check tie rod ends, ball joints. Listen for squeaks and rattles and stuff coming in. Things really clean, so uh, let's move on. I'm going to show you all how to do this PTU. This one's got a cooler on it, so I'm going to come up here and right at the back. There's a black connector right there. That goes down to your lower oxygen sensor. That has to be unplugged. The, the tab, you see how I got it unplugged right there right now, that open connector? The tab is on the bracket side, which is kind of a pain. You gotta pull the O2 sensor out of the bracket, then flip it around and press the tab in while you pull on it, it pops out of there. Now let's go down underneath and pull the exhaust off of the converter down the stream. All right, I actually went ahead and pulled it off. Um, too much noise out here recording. Two 15 millimeter nuts, two 15 millimeter studs. And pull this side off and it goes right up here into this converter. There's your connector that goes to the downstream oxygen sensor. Now you gotta pull off the three 15 millimeter bolts on your converter and you actually got to slide the converter out of the way. I went ahead and soaked them down with some uh, WD-40. So let's get the converter out of there now. Now that we got the cat loose, we're gonna, I forgot about this sensor right here. I gotta tell you all about that. And we're gonna wiggle waggle this cat out of here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That ain't magic. I'll show you what I got going on here. I have a, about, 8 inch extension into like a 12 inch extension coming over and then I got it going into a 15 millimeter socket pulling that temp sensor out just push the heat shield up and out of the way you see that how that connectors coming down with it all right it's loose now now I'm gonna go ahead and pull my socket off of here I made this socket for this and now that I've got it broke loose Hopefully you could just kind of do what I'm doing right now and I'm spinning it out of here. It's going to twist the wires up a little bit, but it's not enough to really do any damage to the wires. You just keep pressure on it as you're spinning it out and take your sensor out of there. Put your sensor back in. There's only a few threads in there. Unfortunately, I had to get a little too far ahead of myself. I ended up cleaning up these two flanges going back together here. Reuse the old gasket cleaned up these flanges here, reused the old gasket, cleaned up the flange up there at the cat and where it goes to the turbo, reused the old gasket. These bolts were in really good shape, was able to reuse them and the nuts that were on it were in really good shape, I was able to reuse them. Um, temperature sensor and everything put back in the side of the cat right there underneath that little metal shield. Let me see if I can get you a... Uh... That little wire right there, underneath that shield. I just pushed the shield up out of the way and then spun the wire out over. And here's the downstream O2 sensor that has to be unplugged, the blue wire, and then right above it, that white sheathing on that wire. That's for the temperature sensor and the PTU. And then 
there's the other blue wire for the upstream oxygen sensor. It's got to get plugged back in. And it took just under a, a quarter fluid and it came out super clean. A little bit of debris on the magnet, the lower plug here, but that's to be expected. Um, I know some people fill from the lower plug, but if you have a leaking PTU or a PTU that's gotten kind of hot and boiled, um, considering the position that these are in, I wouldn't trust putting in through a push tube whatever I pull out through that bottom hole because you don't kind of you don't really know what you're doing. You don't have the exact amount of what's supposed to be there. You can get close, but it's not exact. And through that temperature sensor, I can get it exact because as soon as it starts dripping out, I know I'm full, and I'll just let it drip until it's not dripping anymore, and I know it's at the exact level that it's supposed to be. So that's how I do them personally. When you go to the dealer and they tell you, oh, that's got a PTU that's a lifetime fluid and it's got a cooler on it that can't be serviced Come on, bro You just have to have somebody willing to do the work that knows how to do the work. That's all Anyway service done. Let's get this guy back on the road 75w140 QL is what you need 75w140 is the oil that that takes Y'all be blessed thing I forgot to show you guys, I know I mentioned it, but I didn't show you it going back in, is this connector let me get it plugged back in that's the other sensor right there the connector that I have plugged in that's where the upper oxygen sensor goes oh, just wanted to show you guys alright, now Catch you later. Be blessed. Sorry, guys, for confusing you. That's how you service the PTU in one of these all-wheel drive or these four-wheel drive explorers that have that power transfer unit with that cooler on the side of it.